Hello! In this session, we will create a cold-looking weather effect using the exponential height fog and directional light that are already added to the map by default, along with a simple Niagara system. First, let's create an environment that looks cold. Click on the exponential height fog that is generated by default in the level and press Ctrl plus D to duplicate it. Then, make the original exponential height fog invisible by clicking the eye icon on the left. Next, in the Details panel of the Duplicated Height Fog, adjust the fog density and height falloff values, as shown in the video, to create a foggy environment. Then, set the color of the fog in the Fog and Scattering color. Next, adjust the Start Distance value to set the distance at which the fog becomes clear around the camera. Then, to estimate the internal scattering effect of the directional light, adjust the values in the directional in scattering section as shown in the video. Next, just like with the fog, duplicate the directional light. Then, adjust the angle and temperature of the duplicated directional light to give the background a slightly bluish tint. Make the original directional light invisible by clicking the eye icon. Next, adjust the indirect light intensity of the directional light. Now let's create some drifting dust particles. Right-click to add a fountain emitter and create a Niagara system. Since we will be generating a large number of particles, set the SIM target to GPU in the properties and check fixed bounds to create a bound box. Next, remove the gravity force since we don't need gravity. Then, in shape location, Set the shape of the particle generation location to cylinder and greatly increase the height and radius values to make the particles randomly generate over a wide area. Next, significantly increase the value in spawn rate to generate a large number of particles. Then, in Initialize Particle, set the lifetime mode to Direct Set so that all particles have the same lifespan. In Sprite Attributes, reduce the size of the particles. Since the particles are currently rising quickly, Reduce the speed value in add velocity to make them rise slowly. Next, in Scale Color, where you can set the color of the particles, set Scale RGB to Linear Color, and then set the particle color to a faint shade. Then, in the curve set in Scale Alpha, apply the Ramp Up Down template to make the particles naturally appear and disappear. Finally, add curl noise force to give the particles a random drifting motion. Now, place the Niagara system near the center of the level to add dust to the environment.